Hello everyone, this is Fan from Tech Gaming Villa. I hope you all are well. Today I'm going to talk about the 3TB, the last year Samsung QN90C, which is mini LED, the Samsung S90C, and LG C3. If you are new in my channel, then please subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications and upcoming videos. I have another channel named Awesome Tech Gaming Pro where I upload similar kind of tech videos like TV comparison, sound system, home theater, graphics card. You can check and subscribe. First time to talk about the LG C3 and S90C which both are similar TVs occupying the same market position of the two. The Samsung is the better gaming TV and slightly better overall TV while the LG is the better TV for movie fans. Samsung has a white color gamut and gets brighter than LG, especially in HDR. Not only that, but it also maintains its HDR brightness better in game mode. And it also supports 4K 144 Hz. But uh, on 83 inch model, it supports only 4K 120 Hz. While the LG is limited to 4K 120 Hz. However, LG supports DTS audio formats and Dolby Vision, making it great for Blu-ray fans. It also has better low quality content smoothing than the Samsung TV, making it uh, better for watching streaming content, especially in low bitrate situations. The LG C3 is an amazing TV sure to please all, but the most demanding buyers the very good brightness in both HDR and HDR makes it well suited to watching anything from HDR content to the latest hit movies in HDR. It has superb reflection handling and with its good peak brightness, the TV can handle bright rooms or glare without issue. But like almost every OLED on the market, it's better suited for a dark room where its OLED panel with its deep inky blacks truly performs at its best. Its very low input lag makes it a gamer's dream as your inputs are translated almost instantaneously to the screen and its superb response time makes it a great choice for any fans of fast moving content, be it sports or games. As action stays clear and crisp throughout, the TV also has supports DTS, making it a fantastic choice for your home entertainment center. On the other hand, the Samsung S90C is a fantastic TV for every uses. It has good HDR peak brightness, so it's great for watching TV shows and sports in a bright room, especially with its superb reflection handling. It truly shines for HDR movies and games especially in a dark room where its OLED panel with its deep inky blacks true performs at its best. The very low input lag makes it uh, fantastic for gamers as your inputs are translated almost instantaneously to the screen. The S90C has superb response time, makes it a great choice for fans of fast moving content, whether sports or games as action stays clear and crisp throughout. But sadly, it doesn't support any DTS audio format, making it trickier for a, a home entertainment center. And it only has adequate low quality content smoothing, which isn't optimal for streaming services or low bitrate content. The LG C3 is ideal for reflection handling and combined with its uh, very good peak brightness in HDR. It can handle bright rooms or rooms with lots of glare. Its viewing angle is superb, so the image remains consistent even when viewing the TV entirely from the side. If a group is sitting around the TV to watch the latest episode of their favorite show, they will have a great viewing experience no matter where they are sitting. The TV also has very good sharpness processing, so lower resolution content is upscaled well. And when combined with the panels, excellent low quality continuous smoothing your shows will still look great on the other hand the samsung s90c is excellent also for watching tv shows in a bright room s90c hdr peak brightness is very good and incredible reflection handling so it can easily work on glare in a bright room it has a truly exceptional wing angle which is 
great for wide sitting area or for moving around the TV while watching it. As the image remains consistent, it also upscales lower resolution content well and the smart interface has a great selection of streaming apps so you are sure to find your favorite shows. Unfortunately, its uh, low quality content spotting is only adequate so low resolution or low bitrate TV shows will have macro blocking even if upscaled well. The LG C3 has immersed experience on gaming enabling game mode doesn't noticeably affect image quality so your games simultaneously look great and feel super responsive due to the tv's incredibly low input lag your inputs are translated to the on-screen action almost instantly the tv has fantastic uh, for gaming in hdr on the other hand the samsung s 95 c on game mode doesn't noticeably affect image quality so your games look great and feel super responsive due to the tv's incredibly low input lag the Gaming on HDR is very good, making it a good choice for bright rooms or rooms with glare. The LG C3 has the same design as 2022's LG C2 LED. It has a thin sliver border with bezels, so thin you can barely notice them when sitting from a normal viewing distance. It looks sleek and modern. On the other hand, the Samsung S95C looks and feels like a premium TV. It's heavy and sturdy and held in place well by its small metallic stand. The panel is thin and feels modern and classy. So the top TV is Samsung Q90C. The Q90C revealed superb image quality marked by an excellent contrast and punchy brightness rich and natural colors and vivid details that pops across both 4K and HD content. Because of its Samsung's fantastic picture processing, the majority of the being in the filmmaker mode with only minor adjustments, the movie mode is also a solid choice that provides more brightness. Though to my eyes, it looks less natural. You can revolution up to HD brightness significantly by changing HD tone mapping from a static to active under the picture's expert settings, which also enhances shadow detail for better clarity in particularly dark scenes. Shadow detail in general is well showcased, especially in HDR, standard dynamic range mode, following up a go to HDR torture test in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 was thoroughly impressed with the Samsung Q90C's handling of difficult scenes. Even the moderate daylight pouring in the movie was mesmerizing in brighter scenes too. As the TV rendered the subtle color shades with depth and balance, right down to nuance like the dust on Grip Hook's stripped shirt. One point where the TV underperforms is in its backlight control. Equipped with mini LED backlighting and loads of dimming zones, it can render appropriately deep black levels and excellent contrast between the lightest and darkest images on screen. But its local dimming occasionally struggles to keep up in particularly difficult scenes, creating some minor light blooming around quickly moving bright objects. It was only distracting in a couple of instances but cheaper options like the U8K and some uh, TCL QM8 offer pretty little noticeable blooming. If any, the QN90C is noticeably more clumsy, the pricier QN95C has more dimming zones and likely performs better in these areas. The Samsung QN90C makes up for occasional blooming fogs pass with its off axis beam which is among the best I have seen in a uh, QLED TV. Unlike OLED displays, which generally better betray very little picture quality loss from a side view, most backlit TVs struggle to maintain color vibrancy, brightness and contrast from a, even a few feet of the center position. The QM90C mostly remedies these issues without much compromise to other picture elements. The detail on this Samsung QM90C was stunning from the sparkled pores on 
Drax's alien skin in Guardians of the Galaxy is remarkably clean on 1080p and even 720p content. TV tends to upscale lower quality HD content with a fair bit of noise considering its cost, but the overall picture clarity was a treat across virtually everything I watched. I was occasionally underwhelmed by the QN96's minor blooming. Its mix of searing brightness, rich colors, and vivid details makes uh, for a fun ride. I think most purists with uh, this kind of clash will still want to consider on OLED TVs like Samsung S90C or LG C3. First, which are bright enough for the majority of homes. If you are on a tighter budget, you will find more value in powerful mid-tier options like the Hizen U8K and TCL QMate, especially at sale pricing. Samsung's second tier QLED is still very much a player in this game. Though, especially if you have got a large space where folks will be seated off to the side, the Samsung Q90C is a bright room beauty that really ties the room together. So, in this 3 TV, which TV you prefer the mini LED full array or OLED? Please write in the comments below. That's it from now. You can check out my other TV comparison videos and playlist. Thank you.